$1,500 for it. A little overview haul. I'm literally obsessed with the color. I'm so excited. Hello, good morning. I think it's actually, is it 12? Yeah, it's 12 o'clock right now. So it's afternoon, good afternoon. Um, it is Saturday today and we are going to do a couple of errands. I need to go grocery shopping because we literally barely have any food left. Um, gotta figure out what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. And we're gonna go return this TV actually because it was like, it's a good TV, like it's 4K and like the quality is good, but the only thing that doesn't work is that we get like a lot of light in here during the day as you guys can see it's like right now nothing is like the tv's going on this wall right right now nothing is glaring on this wall um and usually having like a i guess like a normal like good quality tv you would still be able to watch tv because like there's nothing glaring on this wall right now but for some reason this tv is just so dim and that's um, one of the things that the guy said when we bought it was that like it's super dim. So it's really like hard to watch it during the daytime, which sucks because obviously like on the weekends we want to be watching TV and just relaxing. So we're going to return it and look into getting a better quality, um, more expensive one. So we're going to see what we can get just because it's not worth it if we can only watch it at night. And especially when the sun, like when it comes around and starts to set inside of here, like it literally glares right onto this wall. And... If the TV is on, like we tried it with the sun glaring, there is no way you can even watch it at all. Um, so it really actually is pretty shitty if you have like a really lit place. Like it, it would be good if you had it in like a dark room where you can shut the light. But in this apartment, it just doesn't work because it's too lit. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we're going to go return that. Go to the grocery store. Got to do grocery shopping like I said. And is that all we need to do, Joel? Yeah, we need to get a couple random things like a squeegee for the shower that I haven't gotten yet. Yeah, I think that I think that's it. I really want to go to Ikea to get more jars if we can. But the thing about Saturdays in Ikea is that it's oh, literally yeah. so packed. So I might just do that on Monday because it's nothing like urgent because I, I need to return a couple things there too. <sighs> but yeah, everything is slowly coming together. Um, this is basically just trash that I'm gonna throw out today, but yeah, I'll update you guys But that's what we're doing right now So we just did a thing we just went to return the TV and we weren't planning on buying a new one But there's this guy in there named Manny and he is just very nice and He was helping us we returned it and then he sold us. He really sold us. He's a good salesman um, So we bought a new TV. This one's a Samsung. Um, we paid $1,500 for it. So it's triple the price of the last one that we bought But with that being said it is gonna be so much better like the other one was just like the shits of the shit where like It was like fine like at the end of the day, it's just a TV. Do we need a $1,500 TV? No, but did we want it? Because it would just like make the biggest difference, yes. Um, and we just feel so grateful that we're in the position to buy like a good quality TV. Just so thankful. Um, but this one is gonna make the world of a difference like com in comparison to the other one. Like this one was so bright, so like lit up. It's like an LED or whatever. And has built-in surround sound. Built-in surround sound. Like, it's so much better than the last one that we bought. So, oh, we're just so happy about it. Thank you, Manny, for helping us and giving us a little deal. Um, here it is. Um, yeah, when we unbox it, I'll show you guys. But we're really excited because this is just going to make the world of a difference. And we'll actually be able to watch TV during the day. So... So we just got back from grocery shopping. I'm gonna give you guys a little overview haul because I just kind of place everything on the table so I can put it away quickly. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what we got. We kind of wanted to get like foods for when we have friends over because everything we have now we're like eating. So we wanted to kind of stock up. As you can see, we got a lot of chips because for the weekends we like picking out a little bit, having our movie nights. Um, so we got some sour cream and onion. We got a huge bag of these like Dorito knockoffs. They probably taste the exact same, but it's literally a huge bag for the same price as like a tiny bag. So we're just going to keep this in the pantry and then whenever we have friends over, obviously just put it in a bowl or whatever. It makes it really easy and it'll last a long time. We really like these stir fry things that you just can like put on the pan. It's so easy. We got two frozen pizzas for um, like a night we have friends over, pop a pizza in the oven. It's easy dinner. I got some of these veggie 
puffs that I really wanted to try out because this is a brand that makes veggie straws So I really wanted to try these out. These are new and these look so good And I think I might open them now because I'm literally starving right now Got some bagels for the morning. I got some ground beef because I want to make tacos tomorrow Got some more tofu got some shout for when we do laundry got some teriyaki sauce because this is always good to make stir fries Orange juice. I got some chocolate for <laughs> movie nights to have in the pantry. I got some of these crackers. I got two boxes of these because I really like these. They're just good to kind of snack on. It's like a healthy snack. You can dip in hummus. Um, I got some of what are these called? Nacho chips and flour. And then I got a taco kit for the tacos. Um, that's the other box of that. And then just some dish detergent, some Windex. Um, we needed some more lotion. Oh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce finally got my hands on some of this because I have been missing out. Got some oats. I'm going to put this in another jar because as you guys saw like I did up here, I want to do like a jar like this with oats to put in the pantry. So I want to do that. We also picked up a colander because we didn't have one yet. And this one was just like um, a good one. Just KitchenAid, you know. Your standard colander got some soft tortilla shells for the tacos i'm gonna make and then some salsa i went to the dollar store and i just bought a couple random things i just got like bag clips for when you're like shutting a chip bag or something and then we got a shower squeegee um i got this to put on the edge of my sink to put my sponges in and then i got this little thing and i was thinking of putting my matcha powder in here because this is kind of like the mini version of the ikea ones so i thought this was so cute and i really want to put my matcha powder in here because it makes a mess in the bag that it's in right now so yeah that's my little grocery haul Hey guys so for this portion of the video i'd love to say thank you to yvette for sponsoring it yvette sports um so they have athletic wear like literally such cute um workout sets and stuff and if you guys saw i was literally wearing their black set that i'm going to show you in a couple minutes for when i was moving in their sets are literally so comfortable and they're affordable for especially the price and my favorite thing about them is they literally range in a size i'm pretty sure it's like extra small to 5xl and with cup size a all the way to f i believe so they're very inclusive with all types of body types so everybody can order the size that's perfect for them um, but anyway so i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul and also they have sustainable choices on their website where you can order um sustainable 100% sustainable sets and pieces um so anyways so here is the first set i'm obsessed with this blue color and the leggings are literally i honestly like them better than lululemon leggings um i don't know what it is about them but they honestly just like fit me better and they're not that material where you're gonna like get a whole bunch of like pilling on them at all like they're really good quality here is the back and they are 100 squat proof too by the way i've been wearing um, the sets to the gyms. I haven't worn this one actually as you can see the tag is so long But this is definitely gonna be the next set that I'm gonna wear I'm literally obsessed with the color especially when I'm tanned. It's gonna look so cute But yeah, so this is the first set and I'm gonna show you guys the rest Okay, here is the next set you guys have already seen me wear this while I was in one of my move-in vlogs I just have worn this a lot I feel like um, So this is the next set and what I love specifically about their sports bras is that they're high impact which basically means you can do whatever at the gym and your chest isn't going anywhere. It is staying in place, ladies. I do have a small chest, so I can't really say I have a problem with that anyways. But I do feel really secure and the sports bras are literally made so if you do have a bigger chest, you're going to be secure and nothing is going to come out and it's going to be super comfortable to jump, to run, to squat, or do whatever you need to do. Um, so yeah, here is the second set. I'm literally obsessed with the all black as well. It's such a vibe to wear with like colorful sneakers or something. Yeah, like I can literally jump and nothing moves. <laughs> okay, here is the next set. This gives me such like a Kardashian moment just because of like the all beige color. I don't know what it is, but it just gives me a Kardashian moment. Like just wearing this with like a cute puffer and a cute pair of sneakers to the gym. Literally, these leggings are so butter soft. This is the back. I love how the um, top to this is like kind of like a crop top. It's not like the other sports bra, so it's a little bit more 
stylish like you can literally wear this out as well um even if you're not going to go work out this would be just such like a cute lounge around set okay so here's the next set i picked out i decided to do a little mix match situation i got this really pretty green um tank top workout shirt i honestly love little cute crop top workout shirts like this because you don't have to wear them while working out like this can literally just be an outfit and it still looks so cute and these are a different pair of black leggings than the other ones that i showed these ones are literally so comfortable as well and I swear, I've worked out in them. They're squat proof. You can run, you can jump, you can literally do whatever in them. But yeah, I'm literally in love with this shirt because I can wear it to do whatever. Like, I can literally even wear this shirt with like a pair of jean shorts and it would look really cute in the summer. Okay, so here are the last pair of leggings that I picked out. I meant to get the matching brown sports bra with these, but I accidentally ordered two of the leggings in a size extra small and small. These are the size extra small. So that's the sizing that I am, but um, these do come with a matching sports bra, which is like a high impact one like the other ones that I was showing you guys. So I will link that below if you guys want to get like the matching brown one because brown is such a vibe, okay? Literally, I don't know what it is about the color brown, but I've been obsessed with it for so long now and the obsession has not gone away, but it still goes really cute with this green shirt anyways. Kind of giving me like tree vibes. <laughs> but anyways, I literally love these because they have pockets so you can like put your phone if you want to. And it even fits like my big um, iPhone 12 plus. So it fits like the bigger version as well. And yeah, so freaking cute. But yeah, so you guys can use my discount code Michaela 10 to get 10% off site wide. And you can use Michaela 15 to get 15% off on orders, $109 and up. So yeah, I will have all the pieces linked down below for you guys. Plus my sizing just for reference, if you guys are approximately five foot three, then you can kind of, I can help you out with the sizing, but they, I'm not like even kidding you, go on their website and see the sizing range. It is amazing and it is so inclusive and love how they have sustainable choices as well. And yeah, so thank you so much to Yvette for sponsoring this video and everything will be linked down below, so go check them out. Hello you guys, good morning. So Lucas and, Lucas my brother and his girlfriend Aniko, came over last night and we just had like a wine night we had pizza and yeah it was a fun time but i'm so excited because he got me an nespresso machine i'm so excited like how sick is this it's all black like i'm so excited because we don't have a coffee maker yet so this is gonna be amazing to use um i couldn't be more excited it looks so good with all the black appliances so i'm obsessed i literally also didn't realize how much more shit i have to unpack like i kind of put everything in here so i could clear this because we're kind of using this air mattress as a couch right now to watch tv um oh yeah here's the tv by the way i don't think i even showed you guys it's a nice 55 inch samsung it's really good um anyways yeah i still need to do kind of some unpacking um so yeah i didn't realize i had like kind of not a lot this would probably take me like an hour to do but still gotta do it i am feeling like pure shit today because of my period you guys know i have endometriosis and it's horrible for me i haven't actually gotten it yet but like it's coming today and i woke up feeling like literal garbage like shit like that's how i felt no other word to describe it and i still feel so shitty but it's my younger sister Madison's birthday today, so I'm gonna go over to my house tonight and because we're gonna have a dinner and everything with my family. And I was gonna go over earlier, but then I started feeling like shit, and I was like, okay, let me wait it out. It's like not going away, so I just got ready, and I was like, I think I'm gonna head over in a couple hours still, and just I don't know, I'm not gonna like miss her birthday. Like, of course, like, I feel like my period always comes on the worst days, and it's so freaking annoying. <sighs> it's just so annoying how, like, a lot of women struggle with this every single month. Every 28, 26, however many days it is. Like, anyways, I'm just, if you can't tell, I'm literally, like, not feeling it right now. I kind of did some work on my email. Um, I kind of answered emails, went on my laptop, did a little bit of work, but, like, I just... I'm just not feeling it. I was going to be productive and like do some cleaning, but like, mm -mm, like that is not happening. Like there's no way because I still have quite a few boxes to put away and stuff um, that I want to film, but there's no way that I'm doing that now. Like there's no freaking way. Probably hopefully feel better tomorrow. But yeah, so now it's just a waiting game. It's like, when's my period going to come? I'm dead after that. So it's just like a 
freaking shitty waiting game right now but anyways i just wanted to come on here and document this because i feel like a lot of people can relate to it and i am like on the wait list to get it checked out and everything and just like taking a long time but i just want to come on here and be real with you guys like you guys have seen my moving vlogs and how everything is so perfect and i mean actually nothing has been perfect but like you know what i mean like i've been moving in and i've been happy and then bam i'm hit with today which i'm like feeling like shit disgusting i feel gross and it's just the reality of being a woman and i just wanted to come on here and share that with you guys because um i don't only want to share the perfect moments of my life anyways okay I'll see you guys when i have an update before i go so here's an update on something we bought these i think i showed you guys in our haul but i bought these um command hooks they just like stick on the wall from superstore and yeah so joel stuck it on the wall and we just have our towels hung up so it just like had now there's like a place for them because we didn't have a place to put our towels before so it's like kind of just perfect here right beside the shower um here's a different angle but yeah really like them and they're not gonna leave like a hole in the wall so yeah it's nice Good morning, you guys. It is currently 10 o'clock, and I'm just about to head to um, a COVID test. I am allowed to go between 9 and 2 o'clock, so I just thought that I would go earlier than later because I got to come home and then finish editing my video to get it uploaded by tonight. I mean, this afternoon, in a few hours, honestly. So, yeah, to be honest, I'm not feeling that great today. Um, I'll talk about it more later with you guys, but I just kind of want to get going right now. But yeah, I'm going to vlog today, show you guys what I'm doing, and yeah, my period has not come yet, which is just annoying because I am feeling like shit and I just want it to come so I can get it over with, you know what I mean? Like, I hate when like it makes me feel like shit and then it's like, takes so long to come, and I'm just like, holy shit, just come already because like, I want to get the shittiness over with. Um, so it's like, just the anticipation sucks. But yeah, so that's what we're doing, going to go get a COVID test and yeah i'll keep you guys updated okay guys i just got home i stopped at walmart and i didn't even go in to get like these things but anyways so i got these containers they were half off this whole set was only seven dollars and i was like i can't pass this up because we don't have like little containers like this that usually at home i like using them a lot for putting like little things in in the fridge and stuff so now we have a more variety of containers for the fridge we have like bigger ones and not just the glass ones so now we have we're all stocked up for like containers and stuff and i couldn't pass the deal up like seven dollars are you kidding me and then I got a cutlery holder. I was going to order one off of Amazon, but then I kind of saw this one and it was honestly perfect. But we're just going to see if it fits um, because obviously I didn't measure it, but it definitely looks like it. Yay! Oh my god, I'm so happy it fits. Okay, this is amazing. So we will do this later. Um, okay, and then I also just got omega-3 pills because these were on sale as well. And I really wanted these and need these because these help with endometriosis and they help with um, eczema as well so um yeah i needed to stock up on these so yeah that's all i got just some things that i kind of needed but i didn't even go in for but yeah okay so i actually haven't eaten anything this morning and it is 11 40 so uh, yeah i'm pretty hungry and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna make a smoothie because I want to really get back on my smoothie game. I also haven't even like done meditation yet. Honestly, I was just like so busy with the move in and getting stuff organized. Mm. And then now I'm like about to get my period and I've just been feeling so freaking shitty. And I haven't done any meditation. I haven't, yeah, like things that make me like things that keep me happy and stuff I haven't been doing. And like my period and like everything is just making me feel like shit right now to be honest so i think a smoothie is gonna do my body justice it's gonna do something good for my body at least um and also i really need to finish editing the video that's going up in a few hours so i'm going to make a smoothie and then i can drink my smoothie while editing the video so that makes it really easy <laughs> That's so good. I actually really miss having smoothies. Like it's something that just like starts my day off right and makes me feel like healthy, you know? Okay, now I gotta edit. Okay, you guys, move in vlog three just went live. I just finished editing it and everything and put it up like 
28 minutes ago. So I actually got my period about an hour ago and I think the worst pain is over with. I think that we're going down now. Like I feel so much better. Like my mood feels better. So the other thing that happens to me before I get my period is I literally eat like a freaking horse. Like I am not kidding you. I, I can't get full. I just eat and eat and there's no limit. I already know what I'm going to eat. You guys, I have been, I have had a guilty, it's my guilt, it's been my guilty pleasure, I think. Yeah, my guilty pleasure. My guilty pleasure has been cheese bagels. I don't even think Joel touched this pack and I ate them in like two days. I'm not even kidding you. They're so good. <laughs> like, usually I stay away from dairy, but cheese bagels, I my weakness point now is it probably not the healthiest thing for me yes but is it good to have a balance yes see we had the healthy smoothie in the morning and i also want to promote this on my channel like i know i do a lot of like healthy eating vlogs and like whatever and whatever but like i really do like to be healthy and eat healthy and make my body feel good but at the same time if my body wants a cheese bagel I'm gonna give my body a cheese bagel. Like, you also gotta listen to your body. I'm literally like, it's so funny, my mood right now. I'm just so happy the, those bad hormones are gone. Okay, so one healthy thing that I have been loving, that I've been honestly having like on at every breakfast that I've been like making, um, I just take like a little pan and I just heat it up like medium low heat, put some oil on it, and I literally just put spinach on it and I cook the spinach. And then I put salt on the spinach and I have it with like my breakfast or whatever I'm eating. And it's such a good way to get spinach or like greens in. And it tastes so good. Like I find it so yummy. I'll show you guys how I make it. Okay, so once the pan is heated up, literally just spray some oil and then take a bunch of spinach. Literally, I put so much in because trust me, it's going to shrink a lot. And I'm just gonna leave this for tomorrow because the spinach is getting old, so I really want to use it up. And it's a good way to use up spinach before it gets old. Um, and then you just cover it and literally just let it cook for a couple minutes. Just keep checking it. And then I'll show you guys what it's gonna look like when it's done. Okay, I just transferred the spinach from the pan because it was gonna get overcooked if I didn't do it before filming. But this is literally what it looks like. Like, look how small it gets. And then what I like doing is I literally just like putting some salt on it and that's it, just eating it like that. I just think it tastes so good and it's such a good way to get in greens but literally you only have to cook it for like a minute maybe it softens up so fast but yeah i literally love it Okay, I just put the cutlery away. It literally is a perfect fit for the amount of color I have, so it's perfect. The only thing is, is I need to get like a, like I want to, I don't need to. I want to get like one more bin thing here so I can put straws because I feel like that would be super good because right now when I shut the door, they're kind of like clinging around. So yeah, this is perfect for the cutlery, but as long as I just get like one more thing here for the straws, that would be perfect. So yeah, it looks really good, fits really nicely. And the only thing now is I really want to get like a utensil holder for like the kitchen counter. I really want to get like a nice black one. Um, but I'm still looking for that. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But um, yeah, I just really want to have a really cute aesthetic utensil holder for like just a display on the kitchen. I feel like that's so cute. <laughs> Hey you guys, I made so much progress in this room right now. It was literally full with boxes and I unpacked most of them. I put everything, mostly everything that's placed. This is just an empty box here because I don't, I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to see if Joel wants it. I'm trying to sell that right now. And yeah, basically everything of mine is clear. Joel has this shit in the corner there. 
but yay it feels so productive now though i have a whole bunch of boxes here that <laughs> i need to disassemble and make a trip to the recycling room tonight when joel gets home so i think i'm gonna put all the boxes away right now into a garbage bag and then bring them down later and then in the meantime i'm hungry for dinner so i think i'm gonna make tacos so let's do that Okay guys, all the recycling and stuff is put into here and then we're just gonna sort it when we get down to the recycling room. This is just a bag of clothing that I wanna put in my car cause um, I wanna give this away. And over here, we just have stuff that I need to return. And then this is gonna be going into the dishwasher tomorrow. And yeah, and I think I'm gonna make tacos right now. Joel went into work today, so I don't think he's gonna be home for dinner. But I have been craving tacos and I think that the meat is going to go back bad soon. So I think I'm just going to make them. Be cute taco date night with myself and you guys. Here are the tacos. Um, I'm really mad at myself because I forgot to buy avocado for them, but that's okay because they'll still taste good. I got some orange juice and I'm going to watch Euphoria. I'm only on the second episode, so I have no idea. Like, I literally just started, so I'm really excited. Yeah, I didn't even realize it's Tuesday, so it's Taco Tuesday. Cheers to that. I'm literally so hungry. I'm so excited for this. Oh. 